air swamp cooler. Basically, as it says, it's evaporative air cooler. What that does is when water evaporates, it has a cooling effect. So that's what this is. I'm going to open it up and um, you'll see what's in the box. You can get this for 39 bucks at Walmart. It's got two little tabs right here you cut. And open it up. It's well packaged. Comes with a little instruction book. This is it. This is your power right here. You've got a charger. It's kind of like these chargers right here. If you can see, you see that right there. There's a couple of phone chargers. By the way, pardon our dust, we're still remodeling the kitchen. Okay, so that's that. And then you've got a USB connector here. Plugs this part, the USB part, plugs into the unit. And that you can plug into a computer or a little charger. This comes out. Then your unit, which is in the bag, is right here. There's your unit. It's got an on off button. Turn it on. Three speeds. Lights if you want it. Right here is where you fill it. And in here is a filter. And the filter actually, let me open that up for you. That, it comes off pretty easy. And then the filter, you lift it up. See that? You, lift, you gotta lift it up and out. Imagine if you ever wanna replace it. See what it does, this wicks up the moisture that when you pour the water in, it only allows it to fill in this little cavity right here, down here, the, both sides. I'll show you how that looks in a minute. That's basically it. It's real simple. This side is a, a, a fan. You can see the fan in there. I'll show you the temperatures, uh, incoming air and outgoing air in a minute. Now I'm going to pour, I've got a, a bottle of water. It's RO water, so there's very few minerals in it to mineralize that. So I'll just pour that in. You'll see this. Watch when I pour the water in this compartment. Watch this. Watch the water to come in there. I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. The water should just trickle in. Looks like I have a little helper. You can see the water level right there. It's a very, very simple system. All it is is a fan that turns on a little, it's like a float, float switch. And uh, it'll run until it runs out of uh, water. You can see it slowly seeping in to the compartment. Now you can see it trickling. See it? It's coming in now. It doesn't need to gush in because all it needs to do is some moisten the filter. We'll put our filter back in. See that water coming in? And again, this right here is going to wick up the water. It drops in place. Put this guy in here. Now we're going to run our test on the Arctic Air. And we've let these stabilize, these temperature probes right here. And 81.3 and 81.3. So they read exactly the same. Now what I'm going to do is put one on the output side, kind of in the middle, and one on the back side in the, where the air goes inside. And then we're going to see what the difference is in temperature of this swamp cooler. Push the on button, it lights up, apartment lights up. <clears throat> now we're at 81 points. It's going down quickly. I can feel it from where I'm standing. I can feel cool, a cool breeze. 
and you can see the difference right now. The input side and the output side. That's crazy. It's a lot better than I thought. But that's, this is an evaporative, what's called swamp cooler. Now, all it does is work on evaporation. And it works good in a car if you don't have AC and you can't afford the three to five hundred dollars to get your AC fixed. It takes the edge off. Or you use it in the house. But it doesn't work in big areas, only very up close. I mean, I'm, I'm right here, I can feel it. Look at that. 59 degrees. 81 degrees input. That's something. Now, I tried to make this as, as equal as I could. Like, right there on the output side, and then on the input side, same thing. About the same position. Trying to keep everything equal. So I'm going to come back here once it stabilizes and show you what the temperatures are. As we're running our test, I'm taking a look at our uh, weather station. And the temperature inside shows 81 degrees, which agrees with our temperature gauges. And then if you look, right here is the humidity. See humidity right there? 4% outside, 9% inside. That's one of the reasons why that unit is working so well is because the humidity is so low. So just so you know, it's not, if you use it in like where we used to live in Illinois, where the humidity is like 50, 60% and it's miserable, it's not gonna do the thing. But if you're in a, a drier climate or your humidity level is low, it's gonna work great. Let's go take a look and see what it's doing now. We're back looking at it, it's 80.4 temperature coming in and coming out of it is 55.7 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty impressive for a $39 thing that operates with a USB cable and just a little like phone charger. There's the USB cable input. So I wanted to share that with you and we also have, instead of using air conditioning here, since we live in the desert, we use these swamp coolers because the humidity will not hurt us. It actually is, is helpful, being that the humidity is so low inside. So we've got another swamp cooler, or evaporative cooler, if you will. So this is the other unit I was telling you about. It's a Honeywell, and down below is a big water tank. And then up above is the, if you look in there, you can't really see it, but there is a, a filter and the water gets pumped up into this chamber, which you can actually add ice. But the, the water fills into here and then goes down in these little holes and then gets that membrane that it's hard to see wet. It trickles down, gets it wet, just like in this one. These wick the moisture from bottom up into it. So that gets wet. It runs the fan that's behind it, push, blows out a lot of air, and it cools the air just the same as this one. This one runs, I don't know how many watts, but it's like just minimal, probably 10 or 12 watts. This one is, a, the fan is, well here, let me turn it on for you. The fan is pretty potent. And then there's three, three speeds. That's low, medium, high. Uh, it comes with a remote. It's gonna cool the house down with uh, using about 260 watts of power instead of a regular air, window air conditioner or a small window air conditioner takes about 800 watts. I'm always concerned about power consumption. I'm going off grid, so every watt I'm making sure I don't waste. And then I can have a smaller 
off-grid system. One of the things that you need to operate these evaporative coolers is good clean water. Tap water is has minerals in it and eventually these membranes will will get plugged up and I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is build a water distiller, a solar water distiller. It's a simple process and I'll show you guys how it works. Keep your eyes open for the video, it's up and coming. Thanks. Hopefully you liked this video, so if you liked it, click the like button and if you're not subscribed to me, uh, go ahead and subscribe and then share it if you think somebody could use this information. Loaded up and trucking, are we going to do what they say can be done? We've got a long way to go and a short time.